when you're in LA, you can stay updated with all the latest current events, and there's a one media outlet that you should tune into. Yeah, it's a sister station. It's called KTLA, and Mikey got the uh, the opportunity to go to the sister station in this edition of Trippin' with Alaska Airlines. Three, two, one. And that movie opens next Friday. That is your entertainment report here in Hollywood. I'm Sam Rubin. And I'm Mikey Moniz. What's going on, Sam? How <laughs> hey, are Mike, you? Good to see you. You know what, you guys, I am, okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm fangirling right now. Oh. I've watched you for years, and Sam, I just want to say thank you so much for your time um, and your warm hospitality oh, for all very, of our, our crew over here. We're super happy to have you here. Welcome to Los Angeles. Everybody, I imagine it's the reverse. Everyone's always coming to Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. Not as many people. Not me. I want to come to LA. Okay. I want to hang out with you. Right. And, and I want to know a little bit more about your background. Tell us how you got started in the entertainment industry. Any tips? Tips or tricks for aspiring entertainment reporters out there? Fair enough. All right, I, I'm from L.A., and I grew up here, and so this is like, a, it would be like somebody from Detroit talking about the car business right. or something. I've always had an interest in this, and this sounds so uh, elementary, but I always wrote for my school paper. I wrote for my school paper in junior high, I wrote for my right. school paper in high school, and then in high school, a friend of mine's mom was the entertainment reporter for the New York Times. Cool. And she said, you know what, keep writing, and then she made a couple introductions, so I wrote magazine articles. These are all the magazines that your grandmother used to read, probably, with Ladies Home Journal, and Re they called them the Seven Sisters. Okay. Ladies Home Journal, Red Book, um, all these different women's magazines, and I did a bunch of celebrity articles. Then I wrote for People Magazine, and then I started becoming a professional guest. I'd go on talk shows right. or morning shows and talk about entertainment. And then um, our morning show here in L.A., started i was at home watching it and i was like you know what they they could use a little more and i just called them that's awesome dude yeah but, and, and that's the way to do it you just almost just gotta like just get out there put your name out there right. throw your name in the fire and, 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 and find out the place that needs you like in, in other words you know uh you know uh, channel two and honolulu right, right. they're probably doing okay right but where where is there a, a hole that you can help fill where can you help out that's smart okay let's talk about the grammys it's you know music's biggest night happening this sunday uh, um, you know, you're no stranger to the red carpet. Let's find out what are some of your most memorable, favorite moments from the red carpet. What, what I like about the red carpet, and I think, uh, you know, music's biggest night, I think a lot of people feel the Grammys is their favorite award show. Right. So many great performances, like the greatest concert of all time. Right. I, I guess, I mean, I think the Grammys for music are everything. For TV stars and movie stars, the Oscars are everything. Oh, for the Oscars sure. have been around forever. Yeah. And so what's really interesting is, you know, if Hollywood is high school, then the Oscars are the prom, and people are really vulnerable and they're really nervous walking. So I remember like Kim Basinger, like she's shaking and I'm like holding her hand while she it's like oh, right. it's gonna be fine. Right. And not that long ago, Jennifer Lawrence, same thing. And 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 people are really over, you know, they get their limousines, they go through all the security, and then there they are, and the carpet's very overwhelming. Wow. And you really, you see it when you watch it, but you can feel it when you're there. Yeah, And sure. so that's really memorable to me. Uh, not that long ago at the Oscars, I fixed up Tiffany Haddish in Common. Oh, I'm like, kids. She ready. And, and I, was like, I was like, you're single, you're single. It's a big social event, too. For sure, for sure. Okay, I'm a huge Beyonce fan. Did you meet her? What's I have on? met her. I've danced with her. <laughs> Sam I have, I have tell me, with... tell me all okay, the details. Okay, this Go was ahead. at uh, the House of Blues, and uh, this was uh, with her. You know, th this is this is pre Beyonce as Beyonce was right. Destiny's Child, but Beyonce was clearly the standout. And we all got together, and I was like, "You guys, your moves are so great." She's like, "Here, let me show you." And uh, mine are not nearly as good. I <laughs> I tried to keep up. I did a similar thing with Rihanna when nobody knew who Rihanna was, yeah. and Rihanna was doing a little promotion, and we were we Rihanna, Rihanna and I worked out together. I'd like to work out now. That's awesome. But, yeah, it was really I love fun. that. Okay, so we talked about the Grammys. We talked about your start. Is it okay if we give all of our viewers a little sneak peek around KTLA? Absolutely. That's oh, happy, absolutely. Come, we'll show you around. This is uh, one of our. Uh, we do a lot of different rooms here, uh, and then we'll give you guys a, a grand look see. Come on. Let's go.
Sam, I want to start off with saying I see a very familiar face because my stunt double, The Rock, <laughs> right. is right behind me. Well, this is the, the <laughs> entertainment department. We have two newsrooms uh, physically here at KTLA. So this is the lower newsroom. Okay. And a lot of our entertainment and feature people are, are here working on stuff. Uh, and then we, we'll show you where they actually do the news part. Okay, cool. So it's, it's, it's the middle of the morning now, so it's kind of quiet, but this is the traffic. This is just for key, to keep up with LA traffic. Right, oh, a whole gosh, traffic dude. center, a whole separate thing. Right, right, right. But they've already, their hair's already falling out. It's so, you know, <laughs> yeah. crazy every day, so yeah. you got that. This is our news center. So where all the various feeds come in, and they process that in the show. That's and then cool. you, is this significantly bigger than your newsroom? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sam. Sam's you know the Sam? nicest guy. Yeah. <laughs> Sam is the most pivotal person. I love that. It's the next door station from Hawaii. Hi, nice to meet you. Some snacks. I bet your snacks are better. Just gonna... <laughs> Some... Don't blame me. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> it takes this much makeup to do this. I can't believe it. <laughs> you look good either way. Uh, my wife, Lou, uh, and Glenn here. Um, and then... This is, we're really excited about this. Big and brand new, really nice. This is, this is exciting. I'm, oh my gosh, you guys, this, I'm like overwhelmed. <laughs> Seriously. Looking like a natural there in LA. No, don't say it. I'm telling you, we're all gonna be working for Mikey one day, I'm just saying. Yeah, he's a superstar. <laughs> that, and that was so neat. I mean, when you talk about, I mean, our new station is beautiful, yeah. especially the new studio. But that size, are you kidding me, yeah. seeing the building from outside? Two newsrooms. Wow. <laughs> Gorgeous. I've been here long enough where our sales department used mm -hmm. to be in a different building. Uh, and then when we moved into here, we all came together, but we still don't have two newsrooms. No, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> but that guy, his voice, I feel like he just sounds yeah. like he was meant to be on TV. And when he's not, when he's done with TV, he's easy to go to radio. Yeah. yeah. Oh, amazing. Uh, Mahalo to Alaska yeah. Airlines for getting our team to Los Angeles. Comfort, convenience, and friendly service await you on every flight, and you can choose your seat in advance. And you can stream over 500 free movies and TV shows to your own device. And you can keep your devices charged with power at your seat, which of course is so huge. Mm -hmm. Now, not only do they provide great care for their guests, but they also care about the environment. They were one of Time Magazine's 100 most influential companies because of their leadership in sustainability. Yeah, air travel provided by Alaska Airlines for the most care in the air. All you gotta do is go to alaskaair.com. Yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, the Rockahula Show is inviting you to join in on the fun. That's right. When we come back, Mikey going from L.A. to Waikiki. He'll